The formula for calculating the distance between two points in the xy plane is very useful. If I have two points, let's call them x1, y1 and x2, y2, then the formula for the distance between them is this, the square root of the sum of the differences between the coordinates. So the difference between the x coordinates for the two points, you square that. The difference between the y coordinates, you square that and then you add them together and take the square root. So this formula might look a little bit scary at first, but it's easy to remember if you help, if you try to remember where it comes from, which is the Pythagorean theorem. If I want to find the distance between these two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, the distance is just the length of the line segment that connects them. And we can think of that line segment as being the hypotenuse of a right triangle. The base of this triangle is the difference between the two x coordinates of these points. That difference is x2 minus x1. The height of this triangle is the difference between the y coordinates. So that difference is y2 minus y1. And of course, if you want to find the length of this line connecting the two points, the Pythagorean theorem says the length of that hypotenuse is just the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides. And the lengths of the other two sides are x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. So if you take the square root of this right side, to get the positive value of d, that's going to be the distance between those two points. So let's use this to answer a question. Let's find the length of the line segment that connects the points 2, 4 and 6, 1. In order to make sure you're using the formula right, it's a good idea to identify the coordinates of the points as x1, y1 and x2, y2 before you start plugging things in so that you don't get mixed up. So now I want to use this formula, and it's a good idea to help remember it if I just write it down each time I use it. So d is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Plug values in. x2 is 6. x1 is 2. y2 is 1 and y1 is 4. Then start simplifying. 6 minus 2 is 4. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 4 squared is 16. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. 16 plus 9 is 25 and the square root of 25 is 5.